So I'm here uh, outside near a Starbucks. I stopped momentarily to post this video because this is something that I thought I would be able to never share that with you. So I've been taking pictures of Comet 3i Atlas for a while and generally I take pictures of comets, astronomy objects for the last 10 years or so. And now the information I found, it's worth stopping and sharing that with you. So I thought this is um, not going to disturb your uh, Thanksgiving vacation, uh, but spend a little time to go through this video. It's very uh, important and fascinating information that I stumbled upon. So the 3i Atlas, uh, we've been taking pictures, we've been looking at it all over the world. People are going gaga on what this is. Uh, the interesting stuff happened recently when NASA released the picture and the pictures are pretty blurry. There was a, a cry all over the world like how come they didn't release any good pictures. Here is what they announced today. This is not directly coming from NASA. Now the 3i Atlas has been designated as a test object, no threat, just a test object for a formal planetary defense exercise. So it was released by the International Asteroid Warning Network, uh, IAWN, uh, just for the test, no threat for the uh, Earth or planet or anything like that. It's working with the UN Space Affairs Framework. Yep. So the uh, International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN, I think you will be more familiar with this network now, IAWN, International Asteroid Warning Network. Uh, this is working for the United Nations Space Affairs Network. Uh, this is under NASA, so NASA funds the UN um, Space Affairs Framework. So this campaign that they released today, November 27, 2025, they will start uh, doing the astronomical observations and tracking operations until January 27, 2026, which is going to be for the next uh, two months, okay? So uh, November 27 is today and until January 27, they are going to uh, monitor, observe this. Uh, the purpose is it's not, a, it's not a threat, it's not a confirmed threat, but it is a global readiness and coordination uh, for potential near-Earth objects. So this is basically like a test exercise, right? So they wanted to make sure that agencies all over the world, how can they coordinate, can they actually make the observations, right? So this alert was issued by the International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN. It is under the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs, UNOOSA, United Nations Outer Space, sorry, United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNOOSA, release this one. This is coming also working under the NASA. So the formal campaign is November 27th through January 27, 2026. So what happens now? This is a purely an observational exercise and a data collection campaign. Uh, no spacecraft will be sent, no intercept, no probes, no flyby. Uh, basic observations, right, either on the ground-based telescopes or the space telescopes. So the telescopes worldwide are going to coordinate now all the observations. So can we track the three atlas whenever possible, like almost every night, right, also day and night, because they have telescopes all over the world across all time zones, right? So they are going to collect the astronomy, uh, the, they are going to collect the astrometry, meaning the location, the access, where it is, etc. 
uh, exact position. That's what the astrometry is going to tell, where the comet right now is, right? They will also find the light curve, uh, the brightness, the fluctuations in the brightness, uh, the coma size, uh, the orientation, if it is moving, or uh, the, the tail, uh, the structure of the tail, the changes, the rotation signatures. Interesting that they wanted to look at the rotation now. And uh, they wanted to look at the rotation as well. So that's what they are interested in now. Uh, all NASA-funded uh, observatories are going to be part of this. Uh, European Space Agency telescopes will be there. The university telescopes also will take a look at it. The amateur astronomers like us, like you know, all our data will be also collected by the NASA. They compare all these observations. Uh, the 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 uh, international um, the agency want to uh, test. Can we combine the thousands of observations all over the world, and then can we detect the any? change in the uh, trajectory, right? So they wanted to see if there is any movements, uh, any uh, deviations from the predicted path, right? Even if it is m minor, they wanted to detect that. They also wanted to calculate uh, the motion for these interstellar objects because they were using the cometary uh, plan, the cometary The, they are using the cometary model so far, so now they wanted to use or create actually a new interstellar object model so that we can detect a lot more uh, data like motion, etc. Right? Uh, so they are going to test these models to also test non gravitational acceleration. Very interesting. So, not only the deviations, but also they wanted to run these new models, uh, the JPL. Um, ESA, European Space Agency, the Harvard Smithsonian, all of them now are going to take a look at uh, the data uh, that is coming out of these observations. They will check, they will also check if the tail, um, jet, uh, are any outflows coming out of these. Uh, they also validate the new algorithms they are creating for these exotic objects. So it's a pretty interesting uh, data that they are sending. So the agencies are going to exchange uh, the data every few days. Uh, the NASA, the ESA, the European Space, the Japanese uh, uh, Space Agency, the JAXA, they will all share this information. They will update the orbit solutions, uh, uncertainty, if, there, if, there, if it exists. The rotation, um, you know, the jet activity model, uh, the coma, the tail, uh, and also the tail evolution, right? Uh, warnings if any uh, unexpected uh, thing appears, right, which is something that they wanted to be ready for, right? Nothing physically is going to the comet. Uh, there is no spacecraft. There is no interceptor. There is no probe. There is no flyby. There is no approach mission. It's basically basic observations, right? So why are they choosing the three atlas now, right? One, it's interstellar. It is going at a super fast speed. It's slightly unpredictable. We are noticing that on our observations uh, with our telescopes at home as well. They show jets and rotation, very underlying important part. So they are saying that there are some jets coming out and there are some rotation coming from this. So they wanted to observe that. They also wanted to know this weird morphology, right? Which I was underlying that and I was thinking, what do you mean by that, right? So meaning it looks like one, not that, that's what weird morphology means, right? How does it appear and what is it really, right? So they wanted to notice that as well. They also wanted to uh, pick 3A Atlas because it's close enough to drag, right? So that's very, very important for them. Also, it is not harm, it is also harmless at this moment, right? So if really something harmful thing comes, we will be ready by doing whatever we are doing right now. So it's a very interesting goal, and all these uh, goals are going to uh, make our uh, coordination across the globe, uh, strengthen the cooperation. Uh, that's, the, that's what the, really the campaign is for, that's what they are saying. They wanted to improve the tracking of these unpredictable objects. Uh, they wanted to train uh, both professionals and amateurs. Uh, they wanted to validate the orbit um, calculation software. 
They wanted to test the early warning communications and see how that goes. And they also wanted to practice the rapid data sharing between all these countries and agencies. And they also wanted to understand the interstellar cometary physics. So that's all the update that I have. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Please click on the like button. Also the uh, notifications button. So whenever I post these new videos, you are going to uh, get a notification. I take pictures of comets. I track three atlas and also I do a lot of astronomy stuff. So thanks for watching.